everyone, it's Sheila. Um, I know it's been about a week since I put out my last YouTube video, and my intention was to try to do a YouTube video at least every day or every other day, but unfortunately it's just not gotten that way. Um, and I've been trying to focus on my baby steps, um, not, uh, not stressing out over this didn't get done, that didn't get done. Um, mainly this past week I've been focusing on my kitchen. Um, you may have seen in the previous videos where I shine my sink like Fly Lady um, suggested starting with that as your first baby step. Shining your sink and keeping it shiny and, and clean and um, and that spread to my counter space which you can see part of my counter space is pretty clear and uncluttered um, and I also um, uh, decluttered the the hot spot um, here in my kitchen which is mainly the uh, dishwasher, the top of the dishwasher. I have one of those portable dishwashers that hooks it into the faucet and then you plug it in to an outlet. Um, I'd love to have a built-in unit but unfortunately we haven't gotten to that part of our remodeling in our house. So. Um, but it, it's an extra work surface for me, so, so it comes in handy. But I managed to tackle it, and it's nice and clean and, and uncluttered. And I also tackled my um, communica family communication board. Um, it was full of a lot of uh, papers from the that the kids brought home from school. And now that school's out, I don't need those uh, reminders from their classes as much now anymore. Um, so. That's, that's what I got there. But I wanted to kind of give you a little update of what I've been doing. And so far I've been managing to maintain my uncluttered and clean kitchen counters and clean sink. Um, and, I'll, and I guess I can show you some of that. Hi guys. Okay, there's my, kit, my uh, sink. Um, it's got a few dishes from the breakfast this morning. So far you can see I've got my nice counter still uncluttered. Um, I've got my crock pot. I really need to clean that. We had ribs the other night and I haven't been able to clean out my crock pot yet. I need to do that today. Um, and there was one banana left. I thought I'll just leave that there on the counter. One of the kids is bound to um, want it for a snack later and if I put it up on top of the refrigerator they might not see it. Uh, this box here, um, we're planning on putting a light above the kitchen sink. Um, the, we have a light above the kitchen sink right now but we've my husband being uh, kind of handy himself put this board that stretches from one ca cabinet to the other cabinet to add extra storage up there which is very very helpful I really needed that and and it gets used quite a bit that's in fact that hole right there is where our crock pot will need to go and then I've got my uh, uh, my sealer that I use to seal frozen vegetables for the winter so it gets used quite a bit and I like that he also put hooks in front of it so I can hang my pots and pans and a few of my uh, utensils my, but I've got my pans my skillets up there um, so I like what he did there it's very helpful and it works for me but otherwise it's it's a workable surface it's a workable area and right here is my our family binder the main thing I use in this for that I've used lately is um, I mentioned in probably my first video um, the, the cruising through the holidays by Fly Lady, um, and she has this. Um, I'll just show it to you. This ho holiday control journal. I used this last year for Chris for Thanksgiving and Christmas, and it came out so so handy. Um, I was able to pull up the printout that you can get on the internet. You know, she she's got free printables that you can print all this stuff out. You don't have to order it. You can order a blank, the blank sheets from her from her website, but you can also 
download the sheets as well and as you download them you can fill them in like I typed in um, what our menus are. We were going to have broccoli casserole but we decided against it so I just lined it out and um, and I, you might see my little check marks. I guess I think that's what I did whenever I got everything all prepared. I marked over to the sides that this is done, this is done, this is done. Those are the things that I was able to get done ahead of time. And then all these things there were things I had to work on the day of. But um, so <laughs> that's what that's all about. Um, and even the night before, it just came out so handy. Handy doing this especially since my mom had a fall and injured her arm a week before or less than a week before Thanksgiving but because I had all this done and written out printed out and everything um, it just worked so smoothly and that that went into um, there's you know I was able to get my grocery list all written out of what all ingredients I need to have for that day and what what I had available I've got my recipes here so everything's so handy and then <clears throat> for holidays for the for Christmas um, uh, I was able to get the kids their presents and I've got it all written down and whether I bought them and whatnot and I made a uh, this is a little note to remind me of what to get or how much to get so that's what that's all about and here is another blank sheet for already prepared already are all ready for next year so um you know i don't have to i don't have to worry you know having this control journal really really helps out and and this is what i mainly used it for last year um then i've got calendars which i started to use this but I don't know that I will use the calendar in the book itself simply because we have this calendar that hangs in the kitchen on the kitchen wall right now so everybody can come here and see what's going on they don't have to pull it out of the book so um, so I think I may do away with the calendar section at this point because I really don't use it but see that was back in January and that's when I tried to do it and mainly all I did was photocopied the calendar from off the wall and slapped it in here and I thought that's kind of redundant to do that I mean I may keep that so I don't know I, don't know. I, I still haven't decided about the, the calendar section and then after the calendar section is the meal planning which I haven't got it started yet either blank page um, but I'm taking that that that's a, a habit that fly lady addresses in November well I'm kind of imagining that even though it's June I'm imagining that this is my January I'm focusing on my sink keep my kitchen sink so when I'm prepared or whenever I'm ready to do my meal planning I I will do it um, and I can do it a little baby steps at a time I don't have to do it all at once that's the beauty of Fly Lady's uh, program you don't have to do it all at once it, you know that's the that's your perfectionism like she mentions that you know if you can't do it right just don't do it at all well but uh, I've also started my freezer inventory and I've already I've already started it. Um, I've managed to put up seven ears of corn on the cob in the freezer, and I dated it. I've got uh, about, I think about, I think I've got an eight or nine ears of corn sealed up in my sealer in sealer bags in the refrigerator. I just haven't made it out to the freezer, but I need to write them in here too now, and. Um, I'm, I'm wanting to get prepared for the winter so that I have a stockpile of good healthy foods stored up so that we don't have to run to the hot store and buy food you know buy our vegetables all the time um, so I'm, I'm getting prepared 
my financial I I haven't utilized that yet either and it's, it's still a work in progress but um, and then there's contacts and information I don't have any of these filled out just because a lot of this information is on my a5 planner that I keep in my purse I use it as a wallet um, I've seen many people on YouTube use their uh, filofaxes or planners as their wallet and I thought hmm I wonder if that would work for me and so far it is uh, and then my holiday control journal which I just showed you so that's that's our uh, family binder it's still a work in progress um, but little baby steps at a time and I'm utilizing it I'm actually using it um, just something in my got in my craw this this past month and I'm more determined now to get on the bandwagon and to really tackle the clutter in my home so um, that was my family binder and um, I get a lot of good ideas from flylady.net and you can too a lot of her printables are free and um, and, and a lot of her advice is free. She sells a lot of products and books on her website and even some CDs or DVDs, but a lot of her advice is absolutely free. You don't have to purchase anything, which is the, the beauty of her program that I just, that really attracted me to it. And since then, I've gone out and gotten a few things. In fact, I need to um, get a new calendar for the upcoming year because the calendar that I have on my wall right now, it ends, I think it's September or October, because it's a school calendar. And I picked it up at school, and it goes from July to September or July to August or something like that. And so since it's going to be ending here in a couple of months, I need to get a new calendar for 2014. Fly Lady has her 2014 calendar out right now um, which I'm planning on going ahead and getting myself this time um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to try her calendar but since I started doing my planners and keeping my own calendar here in the kitchen for for the whole family to see what's going on with who and who when when our work schedule is excuse me uh, it works for us so but it, it's it's a limited space I don't have a whole lot of space on it and especially if I want to put some of my meal planning on my calendar I can't do that because I don't have much space for any meal plans even if I do do meal plans but fly ladies calendar is a lot bigger and the squares are a lot bigger so I'm thinking about utilizing that so I've shown you my sink and how I'm keeping it clean and cluttered and even though it's only been a week, it's a habit I've been maintaining and I'm really proud of my accomplishments with it. But since I'm still focusing on the kitchen part of my home, there's another area in my kitchen and I'm sure a lot of you suffer from the same thing that I do. It is how to coin fly ladies phrase Mount Washmore it is the laundry and so it has a tendency to just get overrun um, let me show you my Mount Washmore okay guys there it is it is a disaster there's my uh, washing machine and my dryer and in here even though this is a trash can it actually has clean clothes in it but look how big it is it is huge and you see on top of the dryer my husband helps with the laundry and I, God bless him I love him for helping so much but he will fold clothes and then just stack them on top of the dryer. He will not, very seldom, puts them away in the kids' drawers. He also has his pop. I don't drink diet pop, 
And because I, I just, I, I try to get the flavor of it and I just cannot drink Diet Pop. I will drink my tea. But my focus right now is my laundry. So over the next few days, I want to try to tame this corner of my kitchen so that I can hopefully do some kind of a panoramic view of my kitchen and see no clutter. But this is what I want to tackle uh, over the next few days is my, my Mount Washmore and the clutter with my husband's soda pop. And because the, the, the laundry gets stacked up here, it tends to fall over. And of course, things have fallen onto the floor. I don't know if those are clean or dirty. It's that bad. So, I mean, I'm just a regular person. I have troubles just like you, but it's a, this is a task that I know we can handle. So there's my, there's my kitchen so far. I've made some progress, but then there's other areas that I need work, like my Mount Washmore. But it's, a ta it's an area that we can tackle. We can tackle together. It's doable, and we just need to take it one little baby step at a time. Um, I probably will go through this container of clean clothes, and there's probably a bunch of clothes in there that the, my kids do not wear anymore because they either outgrew them, they're ripped, or they're stained and they just don't like them anymore. I don't know. But there's probably going to be a lot of clothes I will get rid of. So I hope um, everyone does really well on their own kitchens or whatever area that you have a, a problem for, um, or you know, whatever area, problem area that you have. I hope you get to um, um, overcome it and get it under control. And feel free to comment, and um, if you want to link your own personal video, go right ahead. I want to I want to share our progress and share our success and encouragement of, with each other through this. Um, God bless, and I'll see you next time.